actually already have some chairs set up lining part of the parade route here along Main Street. These chairs staking their spot right next to the Waukesha Strong replica memorial out here, especially for today's parade. Now, as for those new safety measures, police, they will be using their mobile vehicle barriers out here along the parade route. They also say to expect a bigger police presence here in downtown Waukesha this afternoon. Now, the Waukesha City Administrator says that they will also be having state and federal partners assisting and on hand this year. Now, organizers are asking those today to be aware of their surroundings and report anything they find suspicious. City leaders believe they may see a lot of people coming out today. They anticipate potentially record attendance this afternoon. I'm hearing from a lot of people that they are coming, and I've also heard from some people that they can't come, and they're kind of apologizing, and there's nothing to apologize about. It's, it's been difficult for people. People that were down here uh, were injured and or witnessed this, uh, the tragedy. Um, you know, it, everyone heals at a different pace. And Hannah, for folks who do choose to attend the parade later today, what should they expect or need to know? Well, Gabriella, parking, that's always important. Enforcement and restriction, as you can see from this sign, it begins at 11 o'clock this morning. Some road closures, they begin at 2. Most of them will all be shut down by 315 here near the parade. And then, as you mentioned, the parade kicks off at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Healing Hearts of Wisconsin, they will have support here on hand for anyone who may need it. Gabriella. All right, Hannah Hilliard reporting for us live in downtown Waukesha this morning. Thank you, Hannah.